guys, Matt, welcome back to the shop, and this is just a quick video that someone sent me, um, or someone sent me a video for me to look at, and they said what's it all about. So basically, I'll go put a clip up now. Um, and it's one of these fantastic laser things you might have seen them. there's loads of different types and all those it's fucking dangerous pieces of kit and basically you, you all want one you know look at it, it just fucking it lasers everything off so how does this work um, this is basically uh, something what we call laser ablation now I actually did um, work for a company that did a lot of this um, and we were the, the base of this, this big fucking UV laser machine um, on an air chuck and it was fucking amazing there's like a million pounds worth of kit it's a very precise um, UV laser and it used krypton and argon and helium and fucking fluorine and all sorts of nasties uh, as a gas for the actual uh, mercury bulb and it was all very very complicated an awesome piece of kit and this granite bed was massive but basically what it does is and what that what these laser things are doing is what we call ablation um, so basically what you do is, uh, when you want to get rid of something, you use abrasion. So you use something like silicon, um, sil yeah, silicon you can do, but that's uh, aluminium oxide, zirconias, stuff like that. Basically these are just very hard um, crystals. Uh, aluminium oxide on most sandpapers, it's just a crystal of aluminium oxide. It's very, very hard stuff, and it's basically just which one wins in a fucking friction fight. <laughs> And, but grinding and sanding and all the rest of it and using sandpaper is what we call abrasion. It's literally physically removing, it's a fight of who's harder and usually your, your sandpaper or your grinding wheel is the harder of the two. And basically all you are doing is you are just removing atoms. So you imagine atoms all clumped together like this, you know, and you're basically just going like that every time you stroke across. You're not obviously obliterating them, you're just shifting them. That's the dust that comes off, you're removing them. Now ablation is a bit different. So you have all these chemical bonds and chemical bonds really aren't physically anything, there's not anything there. Um, it's just the interaction between the molecules or the atoms themselves. And basically what you do with ablation is, is that you pick the correct frequency of energy um, to in a sense cause them to nearly boil in a way, that's the best way to think about it. You're basically breaking this bond um, by energizing the atoms themselves and giving them enough energy to go wee and fuck off. You know, they get excited enough, they vibrate enough so much that they can break this bond. They can um, break the hold on them. It's like pulling magnets apart almost. And basically all these lasers do is if they have the cor correct energy level, the, um, the cor um, the correct energy level, the laser can actually ablate it off. We would call this vaporising in a sense, and you can see the whiff of all the shit coming off. Now, vaporising makes it sound like things have been destroyed. It's not destroyed, you are basically just freeing the atoms up so they can go and do what they want. And all materials, be iron oxide, be gold, which is what we were doing, we were ablating gold um, off plastic substrates and stuff like that uh, to make tracks for uh, transistors and so on. But anyway... Basically, laser ablation um, is doing just that, and you can see that it does it for paints and it does it for all sorts. Now, generally what happens is if you've got enough energy to ablate something off like um, iron oxide rust, then you can ablate paint off because that's way above its threshold of paint, just say, or stuff like that. So as you can see, it's just basically chewing away, chewing away, chewing away, and just ablating all that shit off. Is it cool? Yes, it's very cool. Is it expensive? Fucking oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Them things aren't cheap, you know, uh, lasers like that. The other thing is, as well, is you have almost nearly got yourself a laser gun. You know what I mean? You can literally probably just uh, ablate someone's skin off. They are very, very dangerous pieces of equipment. And for something as simple as rust, where you can remove it with phosphoric acid and very dilute um, amounts of phosphoric acid and other stuff like acetic acid, basically vinegar, you can use stuff like that. There are other ways, um, electrolysis and stuff, which are a lot less dangerous than having a fucking, basically, a Ghostbuster pro on pack as you go around and ablate shit off anything. Um, it is 
cool and funky, it's just bad. It's, it's not something that's brand new, it's something that's been around for a long time. It's just something that hasn't been around that long that you can walk around with it in a backpack and do whatever. Very expensive. What does it do to the surface? Well, the thing is, it looks awesome, but the thing is, it's what the rust has already done to your surface. You know what I mean? That rust, um, if you have rust, full stop, and if you have a perfectly clean surface, and you know a perfectly clean steel surface like this and then it is rust this is actually part of the atoms so the reason why rust doesn't bite into things it's just that you have atoms here of iron and oxygen has come in and attached itself to it and it is now a different uh, material and when you get rid of this you are going to be you're literally you're getting rid of steel you know what i mean you are still getting rid of steel it's just oxidized steel that you're removing so you just end up with pits and cracks and all the rest of it. If it's very, very, very light surface rust, you go, yeah, but look, it just ablates it off. It's like, well, yeah, well, you can also just treat that off. You can use chemical products just to basically latch onto that iron oxide and pull it off. And you'll still end up with the same results. Um, the, it comes a time where it's just like, where you look at something like that and you think, yes, that is super expensive. Is it actually worth what I'm left with, which is a corroded part? And they're saying, yeah, but look how corroded it gets and look how it gets it off. It's like, yes, but that part is now fucked. You know what I mean? You need to start thinking about, no, nah, should I replace that? And, you know, this is a technology thing we're talking about that has loads of applications, maybe on the side of boats and stuff like that. But for bike stuff and all the rest of it, it really isn't worth it. Um, you know, there comes a point where something so badly corroded, no silly laser or whatever's going to sort it out. It just literally needs replacing. Cool little bit of kit, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not bullshit. It does work. Laser ablation has been used in the... Um, oh, the silicon... Um, by silicon companies for a long, long time, you know, for making transistors and making all your... Um, oh, what do you call it now? Processors and stuff for doing, you know, tracks, wires, stuff like that. Uh, laser ablation has been used, um, you know, for quite a while now. Uh, it's just that, like I said, this is just one that sits on your back. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.